Hello everyone. This video, I'm going to show you how to use the user snippets and code snippets in Visual Studio Code. User snippets and code snippets is a very useful for your developer to reusable the source code templates that saves you a lot of time to rewriting the repeated code again and again. To define the user snippets, click the gear icon, select the user snippets, or from file, go to the preference and select the user snippets, or from command palette, click Control Shift P and type user snippets. Then select the preferences, configure user snippets. Then select the file, which file you want to define your own templates. For instance, I am selecting apex.json. Here already provided the example. So just use that example to define your own. For before modifying it, I will show you the use case here, Apex class. As per your best practice, whenever we are creating the Apex class, so we need to enter the, the purpose of the class so that other person easily identified what purpose the particular Apex class created. And also we are mentioning the purpose of the methods, right? So that it's a difficult every time to add that content. Basically, we need to cop, we need to open any of the existing file and copy and paste and then change the values. Instead of that, we can define the template using that user snippets. Prefix, mention the prefix. I'm mentioning as init class. Here, I'm adding that description like the purpose of the Apex class. Then you can add the class details. Here, I mentioned the dollar one. I will show you why I am mentioning the dollar one. Then the next line, I am specifying the author. I am a default author. So I am specifying my name default always. Then created it. Then if someone modified the existing class, then we'll ask the modified by person. then modified by date. Then comments, if any. Five. And here you can add the description also. Let's test this. I saved this apex.json. Let me go to my apex class controller. So let's see here, simply type init class, which is mentioned in the prefix, this one. Let me show you again. Just type init class. If you notice here, it's getting showed whatever we define in the template in the user snippet file for apex.json then simply select this one then it's getting populated automatically so if you noticed we always we need to add the comment so let's go to change that as well here just to simply add that comment and close the comment 
let's test this as well let me type init class see it's the comments get automatically populated from apex.json to here and here i added the dollar one dollar two dollar three right it's nothing but you can add the purpose of the class and use the tab it's automatically coming in the each lines so this is a way we can free defined from the user snippets and even if you want you can define the method also so simply just copy and paste it change the value prefix value as minute method and from method basically we are specifying only the, the purpose of the method and uh, parameters details let's go back to the controller and simply type init method then it's getting populated automatically from apex.json to here even you can define the similar way for the html or javascript also for that simply go to the command palette and select the configure user snippets and select the files initially there is no comments so you can simply just copy and paste it and modify whatever you want this is about the user snippets let me show you the code snippets now so using the code snippets we can automatically generate a piece of source code for instance like loop statement or conditional statement like for loop if loop for each do while extra and even you can generate the lwc related statement as well for that go to the file from here then go to the command palette either from your keyboard select control shift p or use the view command palette then type insert snippet then here it's list out all the statements for instance do while for for each for in if i want to for each then simply select that then it's automatically populated you can simply modify whatever you want as per the your variables let me select a different one for so you can change the for the variables let me show you how to use the lwc here i clicked and go to the command palette and select the insert snippet and type the lwc here it's displayed the lwc related statements for instance lwc event lwc toast toast error navigating the web page event details almost everything available let me select the lwc event details here it's automatically populated you can simply modify the values so this is the way we can save the time to rewriting the repeated code again and again That's all about this video. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.